Hi there! So today I'm going to be doing a five star predictions for um, the rest of 2019. So these aren't all books that release. Actually, I think all except for one are already out. So it's not like it's like new releases, but they're just the books that I plan to read by the end of 2019 that I think are going to be five stars. Um, and then I'll do obviously a follow up video after I've read all these books. So um, the first two might be kind of cheating because I've already started both of them, but I'm not very far in. I think the first one I'm like 40 or 50 pages in maybe, and then the second one I'm only like 10 pages in. So I don't think it, I don't think it counts as really cheating, but I just want to throw that out there. Okay, so the first one that I think is going to be five stars is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, just what I know about this book, like what I've heard about this book, and my experience with the first, like, whatever amount that I've read. I'm loving it, and I think this has potential to be five stars. So this is going on the list. It's the first book. I just realized that I didn't put on my wedding rings after I got out of the shower. I just had to run and do that. Whoops. Sorry, Jim. Um, okay, so the second book is a book that I just got in the mail yesterday. It came out on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Um, and I'm reading so many other things, but I was just so excited I had to start it. But that's why I'm only... I can tell you exactly how many pages. I am, yeah, on page 10. So it's not like I made a whole lot of progress. But this is one of my most anticipated releases of the second half of this year since I heard about it. Um, and that is... Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This also, uh, this came out on, yeah, like I said, it came out on Tuesday. This is a, from what I can tell, enemies to lovers, um, adult romance. I don't think it's new adult, even though the character is only 24. I think it's, I think it's adult. Um, a, yeah, a hate to love adult romance that has the backdrop of a renaissance fair. So, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Those are like, oh. Hate to Love is my absolute favorite, and I just think a Renaissance Fair setting just sounds so fun. So, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping this will be five stars. I'm hoping this is going to be, like, my new Unhoneymooners or, like, hating game. Like, this is, this is what I expect from this book. I'm trying to go in with, like, lower expectations than that because I don't want to be disappointed because my expectations were so high, but I am really excited about this. So, yes, that is my next five star prediction. Okay, and then the other ones I don't have physically, so I just have them written down here. Um, Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. It comes out October 22nd. That's the one I have that's not released yet. Um, I know absolutely nothing about this book, but I also know that the two Christina Lauren books that I have read already, I absolutely loved. That was um, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Getting Dating. I gave four stars, and The Unhunting Winners I gave five stars, so I'm really hoping that this is going to be another strong release from them. So yeah, that one. Um, the next one also came out this past Tuesday on September 3rd, and that is Serpent and Dove. I'm an idiot. I didn't write down who the author was, but I'm going to have the picture here so you'll be able to see. Um, literally all I wrote for my notes of this for this was Louise, which read church marriage exclamation point question mark. Um, yeah. <laughs> So what I understand from that little note is I think Louise is a witch and in this where this book takes place like witchcraft is not looked well like looked upon highly and witches um Reed works for the church and he is tasked with making sure that witches don't survive I guess um and then somehow they end up getting married or something. So yeah, I don't know anything about this book, but that just sounds amazing to me. Those ha It has like so many of my buzzwords, like everything about this book sounds so good. So I cannot wait to pick this up and read it. Okay, the next one is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I gave the Remnant Chronicles series, all the books in that series, I gave them four or five stars. They might have actually all been five star. I'm not 100% positive on that. Um, but I loved that world. I loved the characters in that book especially. And I know Dance of Thieves follows different characters from the same world. But I just loved being in that world. So I really have high hopes for 
the next. I think it's another trilogy and I know I think the second book just came out or is coming out soon. Um, but yeah, I have high hopes for this next part of the, you know, series that takes place in the world. Um, and then the last one is a book that um, I've heard really good things about um, on booktube and also my husband read the three that are out already and he's not like a huge like he reads quite a bit but he's not like a huge reader he doesn't normally like read a book and then immediately carry on with the whole series he read them all like back to back to back and he really enjoyed them and that is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch um so one of the people that I follow on booktube um Murphy Napier. This is like her, she says it's her favorite series of all time. She gave them all five stars. She said there's absolutely no issues with any of them. Like she loved them. That coupled with the fact that my husband loved it and read right through it. I think it's gonna be five stars because uh, I'm just so excited about it and it just sounds so good. So the thing about this one that makes it funny is the way it's dumbed down, like described dumbed down is, oh, it's a story about a heist. And that is not a buzzword for me. I like I hear that and I get turned off from a book. I'm like, I don't really want to read about a heist. Like Ocean's Eleven is not my kind of movie. Like I'm not big on heist stories. But what they say about it is that the friend group in the book is so fun to follow, like such a good close knit group and just so well done that it makes the book. And so I really want to pick it up. I figured if I put it on my five star predictions that I'll like kick my butt into gear about actually picking it up and reading it. And I'm just really excited about it. Like it sounds really good, except for the heist part. But I mean, they say that's like, that's kind of like the overarching plot, but it almost takes a backseat to everything else. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Those are all my five star predictions that I plan to read through the end of this year. Let me know if you have any books that you're really excited about that you think are going to be five stars and maybe I'll try to pick them up. Maybe they'll be five stars for me. But yeah, that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.